Resistor noise can be a significant contributor to the overall noise. Here's a chart of noise spectral density versus resistance at three temperatures. Let's calculate the noise of an ideal 1K resistor. We get about 4 nanovolts per square root hertz. We can use that value as a rule of thumb. We can multiply the 4 nanovolts by the square root of the ratio of the resistance of any resistor in kilo ohms. For instance, a 100K resistor is the square root of 100 times 4 nanovolts per square root hertz, which equals 40 nanovolts per square root hertz. The resistor types available have various excess noise above the ideal Johnson noise. Carbon compositions are the worst and practically non-existent in the industry today. Thick film and carbon film are not great choices. Wirewound is the best, but they have a troubling amount of inductance depending on the application. Metal foil resistors are really good, but expensive. Thin film is a good practical choice for resistors in low noise applications. Let's move forward and calculate the resistor noise contributions relative to the output. The feedback resistor noise adds directly to the output. So it's just the noise of a 100K resistor. But the noise generated by R1 gets amplified by the inverting gain, so the 1K resistor's noise voltage gets multiplied by 100. We can include the ratio of RF over R1 to amplify the noise of R1. For RF, we get 20.2 microvolts. For R1, we get 202 microvolts. The RSS result is 203 microvolts. Once again, this is relative to the output. What if we were to add R2 up here to the non-inverting input? We would have to multiply its noise by the non-inverting gain of 101 to include it. This seems a bit complicated, doesn't it? Well, somebody came along and made this easier by doing the resistor calculations relative to the input simply uses the parallel combination of RF and R1. I couldn't imagine how that worked at first. Years after I saw this equation, I derived it. Here's the RSS equations again, with the noise of R1 gained up by the inverting gain, RF over R1. For brevity, let's let M equal 4KTB. We will scale this relative to output expression to relative to input by dividing it by the non-inverting gain. It will wind up being easier to use RF plus R1 over R1 for the gain. Going through the algebraic manipulation, yields that familiar parallel resistor formula. This simplifies to a noise source going into the non-inverting input, which is relative to the input. Simply multiply by the non-inverting gain to get the noise relative to the output. Let's put that nifty little equation to work and calculate the resistor noise. The parallel combination of RF and R1 is 990 ohms. This gives us 2.01 microvolts. To get the noise relative to the output, we simply multiply by the non-inverting gain of 101, which gives us 203 microvolts. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.